Hello! Welcome back to another short video guide for Dread Fortress Nightmare. This time it's Draxus 8-man. There are a number of ways and group setups that work for this boss as long as everyone strictly follows their role and does their job. Talking about interrupts and positions, of course. I only made one video for my YouTube for my first kill, so I will explain what was done here. If you visit one of my live streams, you will probably see me in a slightly different role and on different targets during this boss fight. First few waves are easy and quick. As usual, the group is split into two fours for the left and the right side. I have made a custom minimap here on top of the video and I will be following directions according to this. Wave 1. Small subturrets, nothing special. We kill them one by one, trying not to place stacks on the main tank who will take the boss after that. Wave 2. Massive AoE phase. Again, nothing important. We are trying not to kill the subturrets at the same time to prevent unwanted damage to the, to the group members. Wave 3. We're quickly killing the corruptors on each side. Shouldn't need more than one interrupt, and that's the melee DPS job as you can see. Boss drops down for this wave. After quickly clearing the right side, we leave one out alive on the left to prevent next wave from coming. Waves in Nightmare spawn after previous one is cleared or after 55 seconds, whichever comes first. Burn down the boss until he jumps up again. Wave 4 is two dismantlers. Melee and range DPS on each side take the mobs until the first push. Then tanks step up, finish them off quickly. Wave 5 is one of the most dangerous waves. The white shields appear, the bulwarks. The 2 melee DPS go for the bulwark on the back with an interrupt order on corruptors. First is range DPS, then melee DPS if needed. I'm second as you can see. After killing bulwark and corruptors, we jump back to our sides. Taking bulwarks on the left and right to allow healers to do their job freely and easily then clearing the rest of the ads. After that moving on to the boss. Depending on the total group DPS, you may consider using Adrenos and or Bloodthirst from the Marauder in the beginning of Wave 5. If you have available Bloodthirst, now would be the perfect time to pop it as well as attack adrenals and the sniper shield. This wave is probably the hardest one. The two melee DPS go to the back and kill Bulwark first while interrupting in a specific order the Corruptor. I'm second here as you can see. The two range DPS take the spoiler first and interrupts its cast in order. Healers are taking the two dismantlers until the first push. After melee DPS is finished in the back we join on dismantlers, killing the one with the red lightsabers first because he is considered to do more damage. Wipe 7 is simple. We have two guardians and a couple of subterrotes coming from the back. Two tanks will turn the guardians away from the middle and DPS is finishing them off one by one. The guardians may bug 
unless this is fixed by the time you're watching the video so it's important to note who they are targeting and not where the purple stuff is on the floor Two Corruptors on each side and a Bulwark. Interrupt order being healer stunks first on them, melee DPS second if and when needed. The two ranged DPS are taking the spoiler from the back and after that they are joining the two sides accordingly. All DPS focuses killing the Corruptors next to the column first in this case, before they cast the second affliction. Melee DPS interrupts the second cast from the Corruptors near the wall and finishes them off. Bulwark is left for last. The last wave is when the boss comes down from the last time. He is shielded so we ignore him for now. At least the DPS does. We have three mobs in the back. Melee DPS is clearing them off with a specific interrupt order on the Corruptor and him being the first target, most of all. After that we're focusing on the Guardians one at a time. One of the possible solutions is one tank picks one guardian and the other guardian is tanked by a DPS with a cooldown while the group is finishing that one quickly. Another option is one tank on one guardian and the second tank picks up the second guardian and the boss. It is again important to note that the guardians must be facing away from the middle and from the red group because their blasts are quite powerful and deadly. Again, remember about the possible bugs. Once they're dead, the shield on the boss is gone and everyone is happy as the encounter is pretty much over. The rest few seconds until the end of the fight are easy. That's it. I may have missed on some smaller details, but this guide is trying to mostly focus on melee DPS and their job. Thank you for watching the video and if it was useful to you, support my effort by throwing in a like and sharing it with others. Until the next time, have a nice day.